Good morning, my friends. Cheryl here with Ink Pulp. And we're back with the last day working on these pockets. These have been so much fun. I love all the colors in them. The different colors we use to edge them. So those are the two we finished up yesterday. And let's see, where am I going to put these? I'll set them up here. Excuse me, I'm still coughing, you guys. But we got to finish these up today, and I think in an hour we can decorate these. Um, who's here? Oh, hi, Cheryl. You feeling better today? Do you notice anything different today, Cheryl? When you look at what's on my screen? Oh, good. I'm glad you're feeling better. <laughs> uh, yep. It's all clean. I mean, now around me is not clean yet, but my desk is clean. I have this one little tray of scraps that I can pull from today. And I have a whole box of scraps, but um, this is all in a little tray here. But yeah, I, uh, I did it. I got it all cleaned off it was a lot of a lot of work of course a lot of stuff just got thrown into a you know box to be sorted but it's off my desk and I can sort those boxes as as need be oh so today is well I'll wait till more people get here I've got my happy mail for October I was going to show everybody. And I did. Uh, <laughs> I redid my Marguerite Miller page yesterday that. Uh, the one that I hated the first time I did it. I redid it and then I've got the next one ready to go. I got to record that today. got lots of stuff going on well so let's go ahead and get started I'm not that's what I'd said in an earlier video I'm not gonna <coughs> excuse me I am still coughing <clears throat> then I've got these few things that I had pulled out the other day I've got some Ooh, that looks pretty on there That orange, it kind of blends in though. Um, I'm not going to hold off. I'm going to, oh, let's do this one because I have, this is the one you picked, Cheryl, I think. Look at that little bird on there. Isn't that adorable? I think it needs something underneath it, but I think it's adorable on there. What's you up today, Cheryl? My buttons that I ordered from Poland. I get so mad at my mail carrier sometimes. They brought, I know, they brought it to the house. But it requires signature. So rather than come up to the door and ring the doorbell to see if I'm home, which I always am. They just left a note in my mailbox box saying, sorry, we missed you. You can pick up your, um, you know, your package at after um, November 1st at the post office. So I got to go to the post office and uh, 
All right, I need something underneath that, and I'm wondering if that's something. Oh, it is. Good morning, Donna. Um, it is irritating because I was here. I, I definitely could have answered the door. So what shall we put under this? I like this. Do you like that little bird up there in the corner? Oh, let me move my... <coughs> I just think it needs something underneath it. Let's see what that something would be. Good morning, Donna. How are you this morning? Like that. Maybe some cheesecloth or maybe Maybe like a little cluster with lace. That's kind of cute. Oh. Uh, what doesn't fit with the colors? This absolutely does. The bird. It's got the pink that comes here. It's got the yellowish orange that goes here. I don't know where you're seeing that it doesn't fit. And then this kind of red up in the stamp. <clears throat> wow. Okay, let me see what I've got in my... Oh. I think that might be it. What do you think, Cheryl? This was your color that you picked. What do you think about that little cluster up in the corner? And if you don't like it, tell me. If you think it blends too much with the flowers. Yeah, I do see it with the colors in here. And sometimes over the net. Do you like it? Sometimes over, you know, and everybody's monitor's a little bit different. So um donna do you notice anything different as you're looking at the screen today let's group glue these <clears throat> this is the last do you see anything different as you're looking at my monitor or my my desk hey what Yeah, you can actually see the mat underneath it. Now, these are some things that I pulled out for this morning. And I've got this little box of scrap up here. But look around me. I cleaned it. And that blue, it's actually like a teal color, um, has always been there. You just couldn't see much of it. So I'm excited to say that I worked in here yesterday until it was to my liking. <laughs> yeah, I worked hard. Well, it's time. It was really, really getting out of hand. And um, I don't like for it to get like that, but it's hard. This time of year is so hard, you guys. And I still have... I got a note from um, the Durham store yesterday saying more, we need more. And I just gave her a bunch of stuff when we were at, she was at the last show with me, but I had a really good month in the store this month and um, she sold a lot of stuff. 
and she wants more Christmas decorations. So I need to make more stuff for her. And then I've got all the custom orders. And so, and Cheryl, I know that I owe you a lot of stuff. Not a lot, but I owe you stuff. And I need to get some nail polish remover to put a little bit in that bottle because I found another partially full bottle and I mixed them together, but it's still really thick. <coughs> mm. Now, here's the question. Shall I put some thread in the button or just put the button on like this? What do you think? Thread or no thread? always put thread in your buttons but i don't i don't always put oops of course i got it too far over um i don't always put thread in my buttons. sometimes i do good morning april All right, there's another one done. I'm not going to put anything over here again because I don't know how I'm going to use it. And I don't think it needs a whole lot. I mean, it's got all those beautiful flowers and the music paper. And you can, can't even tell up here where I tore it and put a piece back. I love it. What do y'all think? I'm going to call that done. All right, I have got <clears throat> I put this sticker down here, but I think it's just going to blend right in. I don't think that's a good. Now I've got these. That I can tear in half let's do an F for fall and the three is we're the in the third season of the year so I don't know do you guys like the hi Paula and Tammy um do you guys like that at all or no? Should I find something totally different? Nope, those just blend in. What do you guys think of that? Hey, Jens. Well, we can always, um, you know, color them up. I could put some green. Um, I could ink them up in some green or. So if we colored them, I don't know. What do you. Edge distress them. Yeah, they kind of are, but um, I agree. And that's what. Um. Donna was saying they're too stark white. Um, so let me see what I've got here. I have crushed olive. How about some crushed olive? And my daubers. Um...
you know what before i do this these have that um these have the real kind of shiny surface so i want to sandpaper them a little bit not too much i don't want to make them look too distressed but a few little scratches in there won't hurt the white is Yeah, well, we're, I'm going to put some color on those, and we'll see how we like them after that. So I'm liking this crushed olive color. And is this? No, nope, that's just ink, not an oxide. But we can certainly color them. And give them a darker I can also put brown around the edges is that better do you like that better or no I think it needs to be brown <laughs> to anyone you missed Okay, comments are closed now for um, for October, but I'm going to be doing the Happy Mail drawing today, and I'll show you what that package is going to be in just a minute. Oh, I like that even better. I like that even better. Look at that. I don't know. Do you do you like the? letters on there or no yeah it's better but do you like it now so here's the question on the three I think we should do it a different color it could still be green but I almost like this um, this is orange blossom and it's not super orangey See, I think that would look good together. I'm going to try that. Get off some of this is rusty hinge on here. And I don't know where. They are too thick. It's like a punch in your face. Sorry, not like. Okay. What are the rest of you thinking? We can go something totally different. Don't have to do this. Um, now what we could, I would tear around them. Okay, I've got plenty of these things, so. And maybe we only do the F for fall. Maybe the three doesn't need to be there. I pulled two out, but I just pulled them out. It wasn't...
Okay. Yeah, I don't know if we need three. I think And the more I'm looking at it, the more I don't like it. It just doesn't go with the doesn't go with the background. Like you would never know what that 3F meant if you didn't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm not sold on this. <laughs> Um, yep, I think so too. I think so too. So any ideas for what we do on this? <coughs> Hang on a sec. I got, I have got some. Maybe I don't. Maybe I'll have to come back to this one. Um, I've got this. This is real wide. I can cut it, though. Um, this fabric trim, or I could put it on here. That's kind of pretty. Um, I could put it on here and fold it under. We could make that a little pocket. I don't think it's enough contrast, though. We could make that a pocket all the way across and stick some little ephemera in there what do you guys think of that i actually kind of like that except that yeah i it just blends in too much a mushroom sticker eh let me see if I can find. I love this trim. This is going to be for sale if I ever get my sale up and ready to go. Um, let's see if my mushroom stickers are... Oh, before I do that, let me show you. First of all, for those of you who came in and didn't notice, like these are things I pulled out just for today. Look at how clean my desk is. I don't have stuff crowding in from all over the place. Isn't that wonderful? Now, I'm going to show you today is November 1st, so it's going to be um, Happy Mail Day. So I'm going to set these aside for a minute. I wanted to wait till a few more people got in here. And I'll show you. This is um, all out of the Maria boxes. So the first thing in the Happy Mail, this is a hanger cover with these beautiful um, ribbons and flowers on them and this lace. Okay, so that's the first piece that's going to be in there. And then this is really pretty. There's a lot of color in this one. No, Paula, I don't. Because I still have the rest of, I mean, I've cleaned up my workspace, but you don't want to see the rest of it in here. All right, so here's a purple piece. And then I have this big one. It's purple with some pink and green around the edges. Isn't that pretty? I like that. Oh, hi, Nettie. 
Is this your first time with us, Nettie? I have I don't think I've seen you in here before. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, Nettie, every month, um, during the month, you know, people comment on my videos, not here in the live, but comment on, you know, once the video posts. And I go through and do a random drawing, and one person um gets a happy mail package and this what i'm showing right now is the happy mail package that's going to be for oh in the bleachers okay so you know about happy mail um so if you want to be included in that you'll have to start leaving some comments but you know don't have to certainly so here's this one that reminds me of lips but i don't think that's what that's supposed to be so that's really pretty and then I have this big doily. Look at that. And all these pieces that you can cut out. I guess they call these pineapples. Um, so. You get that one. You get three old timey photos. Look at that baby. Is that baby not the cutest? I do more than I usually do. And look at those little kids. Aren't those cute? And then here's a family at the beach. Okay. So you get those three. Um, you get this. Um, bundle of you get this bundle of ladder trim no i did not untangle it all and roll it up in a nice neat little ball you'll have to do that yourself i don't think it looks like a pineapple that's my thing you get a piece of this beautiful fabric. This is really nice fall fabric. And it's a nice weight too. It's kind of satiny on the front. But you get this. Thanks, Nettie. I try to do a nice giveaway. Um, you get this piece of trim, which I really love. It's a, a navy blue with reds and kind of like orangey. And so you get that. Hi, Bonnie. Long time no see. And then you get these two little, these are actually magnet stickers if you're a cat person. These are just stickers, you know, price tags on the front that she had pulled off. So, so the, well, these are old because look at the papers flaking all over the place. These are old, old, old. Oh, I think I'll put this in another, but that's the one cat you get. And I think I'm going to put this in another little bag because this stuff is flaking off all over the place. Oh, my nice clean desk. You're never up this early. Well, I'm glad you decided to spend it with us since you are up. And then there's these other little cats and I'm not much of a cat person i mean i don't dislike cats but we've always had dogs so um and i may put something else in it too you never know but that's the happy mail for this month you guys like it I know. So as soon as this is done, I am going to start pulling all the names together. Well, first I'm going to go get coffee and then I'll start pulling all the names together. Your desk threw up. What do you mean by that, April? What do you mean your desk threw up?
All right, let's keep working on these because we got to get, we're already halfway through and we've only done one. So isn't that the way it goes in this group? Um, her desk, I know, but what does that mean? Oh, it's got a mess all over it. Okay, not related to the Happy Mail. I thought you were, anyway, never mind. Never mind. Um, let me see what else I have here. Ooh, look at this trim. Mine was like that yesterday, April, and I spent the day cleaning it. Look at this trim. I'm switching to a different one now because I saw this trim. Maybe it's too much the same color, but I thought, wouldn't that be pretty along the bottom? Or maybe right where the bird is standing. Anyway. I just feel because we're not getting very far. Ooh, remember this fabric? I love this fabric. I don't know why, because it's just... Thank you, Nettie. Nothing bad. Oh, good. Well, I'll be drawn for that today. What if we did this? Oh, wow. What were you working on? I think this is a little too... It's nice having space and being able to see exactly what's on your desk. Let me tell you. There we go. What about that along the bottom? I actually kind of like that. I like, oh, there's some cheesecloth. That's what I was looking for earlier. You know, I don't know that this one needs anything but maybe just a word up here because it's so colorful. And anyway, back to this one. What do you think about that? And then maybe some, hang on. Now, these are going to be very transparent unless I put them on a um you know a, a white piece of paper first what if we put some little mushrooms sticking out of there Not that one. What about if we put a couple of mushrooms in here? I'm looking for ones that are a little bit lower or shorter. I don't know, those two might look okay. Although, it would look good if we had one tall one. Look, if we had that, and then a shorter one. <laughs> Hi, Nydia. It's Happy Mail Day today. Huh, I don't like those overlapping each other. I do like that one right there. And then maybe we could put another one over here. But then you need one more something something. What are you guys thinking of this idea that I've got going here?
I don't know. I'm not sold. Maybe just this one. Fine. A piece of paper, and I do. I need to back it onto something because I know what'll happen. I won't. I'll put it down, and then I won't like it because you can't really see it. Oh, I know what else I could put on here. Let me fussy cut this real quick. You guys have stopped talking. Why have y'all stopped talking? And then once I do the... Um, well, I'm going to pick the names right away because it's sleepy. Oh, hi, Stacy. Yeah, thumbs up if you just came in and you haven't thumbs up yet. You guys, I'm up to 947 subscribers. I am so excited. up to 19. That's funny. We're in the 40s this morning, so it's chilly, but it's not. I mean, I still plan to go to the post office in my shorts and flip flops. Because I live in that stuff year round. All right. Okay. There's that. And then you can actually see it. But it might be too much pattern. Maybe that one's better. I don't know. I'm just not. Just not feeling this because I guess the background is so dark. The background is so dark. I'm having a hard time. Maybe we need. journal out of the way. Maybe we need mm, I don't know. I don't know what we need. I'm going to set that aside again because I just don't know. what else we might do um okay let's look at this and see if we can find just a really pretty i have gorgeous that we could put up there that's probably too long Oh, hey, Pam. Ooh, we've got delightful. What if we put a little something behind that? I don't think this needs a whole lot. Um, I'm going to grunge it up a little bit, though. And 
and then Huh. Do you know I sleep with my bedroom window open all year round? There is delightful. And then how about... Nope, it's too thin. Oh, how about that? Yeah, I... Um, you have to comment on the videos. There, how about that? Just right behind there. It matches, the orange matches the... Um, I am in uh, the mountains of North Carolina. Um, so yeah, the way you win the happy mail is throughout the month. No, only one. I've only ever done one. I try to make it. That's the same thing, Donna. The comments drawing is for the happy mail. I mean, I do. My process is that I go through each video. And pick a winner for that video. And I use the random comment picker for that. And then. Um, and then all of those from each of the videos. So there's a lot of names because I do a lot of videos during the month. Um, oh, did you, Bonnie? We love Western North Carolina. Um, and then I, I, I write down all the winners on a pad of paper. And then I cut them up into little strips and put them in a bowl. And we draw from that. So I'm just going to leave that like that. I think that's enough because you have all the birds. So there's that one. Now, I had a thought for this one. What if we just take some random ephemera? And... Yep. Here's a little fall butterfly we could put on. Ugh. On there. Oh, here's some little mushrooms in here. Nope. I'm just thinking some of these little things poking out. Put the butterfly up there in these. I'm just not feeling this one, and I don't know why. I don't know why I'm not feeling it. Ooh. No air conditioning. That would be rough. I don't know. What do you think of this layout? Yeah, I'm back to this one. I like that green along the bottom. And I'm just putting some little ephemera. Okay, I think that butterfly looks better. Um, I 
This one I think is too small. No. What do you guys think about this? And I could put some cheesecloth behind that and ink up the butterfly. What do you guys think about that? Cheryl, I know, um, well, I only have two more. Um, I know that you love this look with the little ephemera. I kind of like that. What do you guys think? Why don't you like the fabric? I love the fabric on there, Donna. I really do. I, but I love that fabric, too. So that I would just put up there. So these... Um, let me ink... well but sometimes clashing is good sometimes if you make things clash a little bit they stand out more i mean in general the colors are um the same they're all in the same family they're the fall colors And look at me, I went completely silent. I was focusing on what I was doing. I don't know, you guys. I really like that checked. It's like start I know but I know it's stripes on checks but I don't know let's take a vote and all I want is a yes or no no nothing else just so I can count them easily yes keep the fabric no get rid of the fabric You like it, Bonnie? Okay, I have one no. Stacy's a yes. Bonnie's a yes. Okay, so I've, I have three yeses and one no. <laughs> Pam is a yes. I have four yeses and one no. Five yeses. So I think we're going to do it. Okay. Okay. Donna, my dear, I'm sorry, and Jens, you guys are outvoted, unfortunately. All right, I'm going to, hmm, that's not what I want to do, because <coughs> I lost the little tip off of it. It's inside the bottle. Um, I wanted a real thin, because um, what I want to do is kind of glue these together. And then um, put them down. I just tack them together. Yeah, I think so. And I think um, I 
I think it does really kind of ground it because it's um, okay, let me get these together and while they're still wet I can move them around a little if I need to um, I think it just breaks up all the green in the in the leaves and stuff I think it um, I have that sticking out like that. Perfect. Well, no, it's not my pocket, my choice. You guys know that. You know that, Donna. I, I will go with what the majority wants, and that's why I take a vote. And heck, you know as well as anybody that I've been outvoted many a times because what I like some people didn't like and if it seems like there's a disagreement or or not can I don't want to say disagreement if there's not a consensus then I will take a vote yes yeah they've got brown I, I edged them all yes ma'am I'll put that guy there. And then this down. Hey, Big Mama. We're finishing up these pockets. I'm just going to smooth that so it doesn't I've had um, a couple of ladies actually tell me that you know, they don't always like everything that we make in here or my, hey, Vanessa. Um, you know, not everybody likes the choices I make, but, you know, they just kind of observe and maybe don't participate in the voting if or if they can't decide between one or another. Um, so there definitely are, are folks that don't always like everything, but. That's the nature of a group, right? Not everybody's always going to agree. Whoops. Oh, I was going to put cheesecloth behind that. <laughs> I forgot. You guys didn't yell at me. Um, let's see if I can pull this back up again. And what did I do? There it is. Big Mama, we're just finishing up these... Um, I'm going to do some brown and I'm going to do some crushed olive. On this cheesecloth and then I'll maybe squirt it with a little bit of water. We'll see. Um, All right, let's see. I don't think we need quite this much.
Yeah, I'm glad we got to finish them on. Oh, my. Don't you just love that? I know you will, Big Mama. Because you like the roughed up edges. I do, too. Come on. Look at that. With that beneath it, behind it. Come on. Focus, focus, focus. There we go. Look at that cheesecloth behind there. Is that not just the cutest? And we've got that little butterfly up there. Oh, you go get... I know, Big Mama. Yeah, get some sleep, Bonnie, and come join us again when you can. Oops, that's not down. I need to put a little more. And that's one of the reasons I like um, doing these, like the ephemera ahead of time. I know I've, I think I've heard you say on either in here or one of your videos that you usually make the ephemera to match the journal. And I do some when I do a journal. I mean, I will make some ephemera. But I like having a whole stash of a lot of different things. Um to choose from and that's why I like making um, ephemera you know in all different styles and because you just never know what's going to go with your project There's that one. Big Mama, did you notice that my desk is clean? I mean, there's some stuff out now that we've been working on. But for the most part, look at how clean everything is. You actually see the desk. <clears throat> Yeah, it really does look better with the cheesecloth. I ended up really liking this one. I wasn't liking it at first. But I do really like that one. Okay, this one. What do we do on this one? Because this, like the... <laughs> I know I cleaned it off. I'm so excited. Like the orange one, I don't think this needs a lot, if anything. Um, maybe some lace. just a strip of lace on it maybe just some lace at the very bottom here that falls off the bottom I just don't think it needs a lot you know what we could do we could diamond glaze or And blue lace. But then that, wouldn't that be too much blue? I could put some, you guys want me to put some of this diamond glaze over the, um, the wings here? A small bling in the middle of the flower. Oh, these down here? Yeah, we could do that. Let's see. i got to poke a hole in this so I can get it out. If you were gonna, should do it last. Yeah, you're right. Otherwise, I'll get my grubby paws in it. Okay. So we'll set that aside. So I could do this. Do you guys like this hanging off of this? I love the way the color goes. Monochromatic. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. 
Disaster averted! I know, right? Okay, I'm going to run some... Never had seen Diamond Glaze. Uh, well, it's Diamond Glaze or Glossy Accents. They're basically the same thing. I just happen to have Diamond Glaze handy. Come on. This is so thick on my outing today i'm gonna stop and get some but you know i'll forget it i'll go out and run my errands and i'll forget it all right but what i was gonna say is that i could get some um trying to get these to line up as best i can on the ends and be somewhat symmetrical and I know big mama you hate that word sometimes I just got to do it though there we go there are those um some blue in the, um, you know what I have? Let's see if I can find them. Do I have any in this box? I have all these little containers with little things in them. And what I'm looking for are a couple of sequins. Here we go. Oh, those are green. That probably doesn't work. I need silver. There they are. And I have tweezers now. I found my tweezers. I found all kinds of stuff while I was. What about a little sequin in the middle of that flower? And a little sequin in the middle of that flower. But that's only two. It, that looks funny with only two. So how about if we put this right here? These sequins might be a little big. Let's look at these. Oh, I like the iridescent better. I like it better. You can't see them as well, but they do give a glitter. And if we put Okay, what about this, you guys? What about some little iridescent sequins in those flowers? You like? Yes, I know I agree. I absolutely agree, Big Mama. They look yummy. They do look yummy. Okay. Let's put these babies down. I like it. Okay. Good day to you. They're very subtle, but um, very pretty. And when the light catches them just right, they're so pretty. Whose idea was that? To, was that April who said put bling in the flowers? I don't remember who set it up above, but it was a great idea. And this is why creating as a group is so much fun. 
because I would have not thought of that. Okay, I'm going to wait to take um, my picture before I put that diamond glaze on because it'll be real cloudy at first. And I don't want it to be cloudy, but I'm just going to diamond glaze the um, whole dragonfly. Pam did. Okay. Thank you, Pam. All right. Here are the cards. I don't know for those of you who came in later, this was the first one we did. All we did was put this little ticket and lace and a button because there's so much, you know, I can put a word up here when I get ready to use it, but I didn't want to overdo that one because the flowers are so pretty. In fact, most of them don't have a hole on them. They don't need it. So those are the four with the exception of some diamond glaze on this guy. What do you think? I do too. They're so, as Big Mama said, eclectic. Hi, Kelly. We are just finishing up, my friend. And I'm putting stuff back so it doesn't get all messy in here. Didn't this one come out so much better than with those, um, that, those letters and numbers that I had on there that just didn't go. All right, friends, that's it. I'm going to go work on comments, pulling comments for the drawing. And then I will do the drawing um, live a little bit later on. <clears throat> so if you want to comment on today's, that's great. Um, you know, it'll go towards next month, towards the November drawing. So, oh, I still want to do once a week in the month of November, I want to pick somebody who's really kind of suffering or needs a little lift. I want to pick somebody to send a happy mail to. And you guys can nominate people. The first one that I want to do is to make a card for Beth Andrews, whose son passed away. And I, I don't know exactly what happened. I get the sense it was very sudden and unexpected. And um, I don't know if y'all know Beth Andrews, but I thought it would be nice to send her a card from the group. So please do it via messenger or email. If you have somebody you wanna nominate to get a little bit of happy mail, we'll have four in the month of November. We'll have one a week. So, um, let me know. Oh, Jens. Yes, let's all keep Jens in our prayers and pray that his cancer is not back. I'm so sorry to hear that. And we're going to send positive vibes that everything is okay. All right. Love you all. Have a wonderful day. Thumbs up if you haven't. And I will see you tomorrow. No, today is Tuesday. It was only Tuesday. So, oh no, today is Wednesday. Um, I will, we won't be on tomorrow. So Friday we'll work on the card for Beth. All right, everybody. See you all. Love you all. And um, I'll see you back here on Friday. Bye.